So I have my glass. This is a six by eight piece of white tecta and my flower cutouts from the Wazer. And if you see, I'm, I'm right here, I'm cutting the little tab pieces off um, and checking over the different flower shapes. I wound up doing four pieces of glass using the same template for the daisies and the tulips. I have two different kinds of daisies and two different kinds of tulips in different colors. And um, I need to lay out the glass and I'm first using this white ribbon and I, I'm just placing it with some clear glue. That's gonna represent the tie that holds the flower bunches in place and it's white because it's going to eventually get covered up so it's just a guide for me for um, the flower stems and uh, here's some one millimeter this is um, moss green and then I have a two millimeter spring green and that's a stringers to represent the stems and as you can see I'm breaking them into different lengths and using that ribbon to be actually a piece of ribbon that would hold the flowers in place and it's just looking at you know the center of the glass and how it's going to fit together and and playing with it a little bit and i and i like using the different thicknesses of the stringer but you don't have to you can use one. Oh, sorry about my shadow and the light but It doesn't, you don't think of that ahead of time. <laughs> um, so the best way that I found to hold stringer down and not use too much glue is I grab a scrap piece of paper and just put a puddle of glue down and then dip the top and bottom of the stringer into the glue. And it really holds it in place easily without too much glue without getting it all over and I like that method sometimes the stringer gets away from you so I always have tweez uh, tweezers on hand and you see what I, else I have here is um, I've taken out some scrap green and um, some frit. My tools are um, my nippers and tweezers. And actually, that's pretty much it. I really don't need too much else as tools. Um, no cutting except for the nippers, so there's no precision cutting. So, easy peasy stems. I've left room on the top for the flowers. Some little tabs again. And I'm just placing them and seeing what do I want to use? What flowers do I want to pick? What's my color scheme? Do I want one of each color? Well, what do you think? Uh, let's see. Oh, I like the warms. And maybe it feels like spring today, so let me use some tulips. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Trying to different heights. Fill up the top part. I'm not too sure about that 
one on the left. Hmm, what should I do? Let me let me just glue them down and see what. I can always move them around. That's one nice thing about the white clear glue. Oh, by the way, I do use clear glue and not white. The white sometimes makes a mark, and I find the clear glue works so much better. Yeah, it's still bothering me on that left. I, mm, yeah, I think I'm going to take that little... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think, so, I think that'll work. Yeah, that's pretty good. I have some pieces string around the top without flowers on that, and... Um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. There's always going to be stems that are going to come up that will be overlapped. And anyway, I, here, I, I like, look at the daisy. I have cut rods on the side there, but I, since I've decided not to use daisies, I'm not going to be doing that, but I just wanted to show you another option that's really cute to add different colors and Anyway, so I have some mostly coarse frit, and I chose the same color scheme. That's an orange. I want, yeah, so that's a striker. That's going to change once it's fired. And I've got citronelle. Citronelle is a really warm green. It's um, like an olive green, and it has a little bit of yellow in it. So I really like that color. Um, so those I'm going to put in later, but right now I'm nipping the glass for the leaves. And those shapes can be really organic, really different. And tweezers, but you know, uh -huh. and just playing with it. But it needs to be filled up a little bit more. It looks a little blank, so put some of these in there. They're they're mostly triangular shapes, and you know, tulip leaves are are straight pretty much so I'm just building looking at my piece and seeing how to form the bouquet the um the green pieces are two different greens a um lime green striker and a dark green so it will it will change but not a whole lot we're still just using oranges yellows and greens so we're keeping it fairly simple composition And I'm just filling up to make it look like a full bouquet. So now I have the coarse frit in my three uh, warm warmer colors and I'm Dotting those in the blank spots or the negative spaces so it looks like there are more flowers, maybe flower buds, um, small leaves, and um, when we're looking at a bouquet, we don't see the whole flower of every single flower that's in the bunch. So this is just representing those 
other flowers that may be behind the central point ones um, and the buds that haven't fully opened yet. So it gives us a little, a fuller look. And I'm just using the colors that I chose for my tulips. I mean, you could pick just one color flower or multiple color flowers and include multiple frits too. So, you know, that's all a personal choice. Oh, and there it is fired. You can see the striker. So after it's fired, I have frames and I um, will, well, for the purposes, I just did a quick presentation, but I usually put a piece of cardboard in the back to keep it safe. But here I am just, um, here it is all presented and ready to go. Um, one last tip. Well, for, almost forgot. One last touch. Here it is. Uh, I got a little long um, glue. It's E6000. Uh, you could use any type of glue that works with glass. And I made a little bow. So, covers up that white ribbon with a real ribbon. And I just have, think it's a nice finishing touch to our piece. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And have a great day. Happy spring.